DTM Misano. Andrea De Vizioso, the guest starter. Rennie Rast put the car on pole position with a brilliant qualifying from Jonathan Aberdeen, but the start was not so good for Jonathan Aberdeen. He appeared to bog down. Lloyd Duval was able to get past, and then came the uh, hard-charging BMW of Bruno Spengler and putting himself up into uh, P3. So it was Rast leading from Lloyd Duval, then Bruno Spengler, as every car jostled for position around this very technical Misano circuit. In blistering temperatures, Marco Wittmann, who didn't set a time in qualifying, started from the pit lane, and therefore they rolled the dice, and they did that for Ferdinand Habsburg as well in terms of strategy, get the cars in for an early stop. There was also an early stop for Joel Eriksson, a winner in race two at Misano last year. Regrettably, he had to retire his car with power issues. That brought out the safety car, which means side-by-side -side Indy restart. Rennie Rast then from the uh, restart was away and nailed it absolutely perfectly, as did Lloyd Duval and Sheldon van der Linde, the young rookie in the BMW, finding himself in P3. Now, the man that would be on a charge would be Marco Wittmann. Now, bear in mind, Marco Wittmann had already stopped very early on in the race, and that would prove a critical factor in terms of the strategy. So, as the cars all made their way through the sequence of turns here at Mazzano. Philip Eng finding himself down there in P12. All of a sudden, the pit lane became very busy indeed. Rennie Rast was released just as Robin Frines was brought into his box. And it was always going to be hard work. Andrea De Vizioso was loving his time in the DTM, even though he was being challenged here by Pietro Fittipaldi, who was in the uh, all-orange car, normally seen by Jamie Green, who's missing this weekend because of... Uh, ill health, so um, speedy recovery, Jamie Green. He did put himself ahead of Andrea De Vizioso. Now, at this point, Rennie Rast is P3. P1 is Marco Wittmann, who had taken advantage of that early stop and the safety car. Now, Rennie Rast made short work of getting past Ferdinand Habsburg, but the gap between Rennie Rast and Marco Wittmann was huge. Next in the target sites, was uh, Ferdinand Habsburg from the perspective of Loic Duval, who was able to uh, put himself in that P3 position. If it stayed this way, Loic Duval would earn his first podium of the season. However, it was becoming something of a fairy tale for this man, the two-time DTM champion, Marco Wittmann, who started the race plum last. It was a real example of how best to manage your tyres because Marco had stopped on lap one. Therefore, he had to nurse those tires all the way to the end of the race. That was a huge ask, but it's something he did, and he did with aplomb, as the fairy tale came true for Marco Wittmann. He took the win. P2 would go the way of René Rast, and P3 would be Loic Duval. But René Rast uh, taking that P2 place, but Marco Wittmann was the star of the day at Misano. P1 from a starting position of P last.